Landing on the moon was the goal of the entire world in 1961. Now, precisely 60 years later, it seems as though this idea is kicking back up, powered by the cash and ideas of SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. The thing is, Musk isn't just planning on sending humans to the moon. While that's the first step towards pushing humans back into the stars, Musk is planning on going a little further, with plans to build a base on the moon. It's quite incredible to think about. It's been 60 years since the Apollo program was created, with the modern-day Artemis program taking its place. Come take a ride with us into outer space as we explore Elon Musk's new plans to build a moon base. For those of you who aren't completely familiar with Elon Musk's connection to space travel, it's quite a long relationship. Musk is a CEO, CTO, founder, and chief designer for SpaceX, currently the leading company when it comes to rocket technology. For the past few years, SpaceX has been the main rocket technology supplier for NASA, allowing the company's CEO to be a leading figure in the race back to space. Since SpaceX's inception in 2002, the company has grown several billion dollars in revenue with its several hundred customers. As NASA as the company's largest contractor, they've been deeply involved in the United States government's plans for returning to the moon by 2024. There have been hundreds of developments since SpaceX, and Elon Musk more specifically became associated with NASA, including their current role in the Artemis project. The Artemis project is the spiritual successor to the Apollo program, one of the Trump administration's last major decisions before the administration's departure. Artemis was created in 2019 to land humans on the moon by 2024, although with the assistance of Musk's SpaceX, the goal has changed quite dramatically. Musk believes that humans will not only be able to make it to the moon before 2024, but can also establish a relatively permanent presence on the surface. Musk's original announcement of his intentions to place a permanently occupied human base on the moon came all the way back in March of 2019. As he explained it, we should have a base on the moon, like a permanently occupied human base on the moon, and then send people to Mars. While it's definitely quite a spectacular goal, with the technology and money at Musk's feet, it's definitely not impossible. In fact, just a few months ago, Musk had mentioned that he was determined to get to the moon as fast as possible, something that was taken to heart by both him and the National Space Program for the United States. Announced just over a year later, NASA announced their selection of Musk's SpaceX for most rocket trips, as well as the introduction of the government's moon plans. Dubbed Artemis Base Camp, NASA announced a presence to be held long-term for further space exploration. Assumed to be around the Shackleton Crater, near the moon's south pole, it's pretty close to what Musk had been formulating for a while. The camp is currently being designed to provide a long-lasting human presence, as past visits, as in 60 years ago, only lasted a few hours on the surface. Include the several billion dollar price tag for past expenditures, and it's quite a complicated endeavor. One reason why NASA has relied heavily on outside parties, such as Musk's SpaceX. Just for reference, Artemis Base Camp will require power infrastructure, waste disposal, communications, radiation shielding, landing pads, water stations, mobility systems, and much, much more. Elon Musk can potentially provide the vast majority of those necessities thanks in part to Musk's access within Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, and many others. Experts have claimed that this whole ordeal is likely too ambitious, although Musk is determined to prove them wrong. In fact, SpaceX's Starship Deep Space Transportation System was selected as Artemis's crewed moon lander. Musk doesn't plan on exclusively using Starship for landing, however, as the ship's incredible construction allows allows the rocket to be used repeatedly, allowing landing and extraction with just one rocket. It's still in progress though, something that he jokingly referred to in a recent news conference. Obviously, we need to like, not be making crates. Got some work to do, but we're making rapid progress. The crater's mention is from SpaceX's recent test flight program, which has resulted in more than a few recent explosions. Luckily for the future of Artemis and Musk's plans, the company has been hard at work recreating and solving issues they've had with the technology. That's enough about SpaceX and Musk's rocket though. Several of Musk's plans for the base camp are much less apparent, but potentially even more important. Go back a moment and you'll recall our mention of Elon Musk's potential to provide much of Artemis base camp's necessities. Jim Bridenstein, one of the leading figures within NASA's Artemis program, announced that the success of commercial crews on the moon relies on innovation. More specifically, Bridenstine mentioned private company innovation, once again letting private company innovate. That's a great sign for Musk as it means he's more than likely to bring technology other than rockets to the table. 
something that he might have been planning for all along. While SpaceX is likely Musk's most obvious addition to the Artemis program, it's definitely not his only potential add-on. No, no, no. Definitely nowhere near his only potential addition. To quickly recap, through SpaceX, Musk can provide the rocket and landers for NASA's trips. SpaceX can also provide their newer technology in the form of higher quality spacesuits and long-lasting space-exclusive buildings. While that's infinitely further than many private companies get with NASA programs, that's not all Musk is hoping to deliver on. Let's take a look at Elon Musk's Starlink, which can provide satellite communication for the entire moon in addition to internet service. Its current plans for Starlink involve deploying over 4,400 satellites by the time the Artemis program's 2024 deadline hits. The space-exclusive nature of satellites means that Musk, through Starlink, can provide continuous access and service to both the astronauts within base camp and those back on Earth. Just think of the potential benefits having a fast and continuous signal from a satellite would be to future missions. Elon Musk seems to know the benefits having already launched 1,000 satellites with FCC approval. Imagine how much further the project could go with NASA funding the ideas as well. Of course, as this story revolves around Elon Musk, that's still not all. Elon's biggest company, Tesla, can provide solar technology and electricity powered by crafts and devices. Everyone knows Tesla, or they may not know just how revolutionary the company's technology could be in the future. Since Musk's arrival at Tesla as CEO, he's orchestrated several additions to the company's offerings, including the addition of solar roof and power wall. While the benefits of these may not seem immediately apparent, you know without a doubt Musk is going to use Tesla's tech on the moon. The company's solar roofs provide some amazing solar power to small homes and big homes alike. Now, imagine his use of these on the moon, using the open space and near-absent atmosphere to super boost solar-powered energy. Store all of this in Tesla's efficient power wall battery storage, and you suddenly have power and storage infrastructure without the need for separate moon base infrastructure. Speaking of infrastructure, the Boring Company, another business owned by Musk, will likely be used for developing the moon base's systems. The Boring Company, one of Musk's less known companies, can accurately drill and produce large holes. I know, it does sound sort of boring, at least until you realize the difficulty provided by attempting to drill on the moon. Using boring technology, SpaceX's astronauts can accurately and easily create the infrastructure to install the moon base on. Cheap and efficient boring on the moon really wasn't that easy in the past, although it seems Musk is planning on changing that. With SpaceX's Starship rocket, Tesla power systems, and boring company mining abilities, we're beginning to see a recipe for a fully planned out moon base. NASA only announced Artemis Base Camp in 2019, although it seems as though Musk has been preparing for this for quite a while now. Just a few months after NASA's announcement of the program, Musk had explained some future renovations coming to SpaceX's Starship, with some oddly specific adjustments. It almost seemed as though the company was renovating the rockets with some more lunar-based appliances. Take the auto-leveling legs with a wider stance, designed for leading into word or landing on rocky and pitted surfaces. Musk also mentioned the addition of forward thrusters to stabilize the ship for high wind landing attempts, as well as stating that the rockets can remain on the moon as part of base alpha. After all, launches are quite expensive. Well, unless you have Elon Musk behind the scenes already prepared with enough technology to launch a full moon base on your own. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think Musk will end up leading much of a charge into a moon base, or is it just optimistic thinking? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more dives into the future of space.